respond to the new company contribution, we've raised all medical option costs to reflect their actual costs. Now there will be a clear relationship between the two parts of the equation for every option. By the way, by presenting actual costs of coverage, your plan will be in line with the requirements and spirit of health care reform. In the next segment of this program, we'll examine how the changes might affect someone in your position. As you'll see, we're doing our best to ensure that those of you who have to pay for coverage beyond the 9x contribution don't have to pay too much more, and that those of you who receive cash back will still receive cash back, although somewhat less. Beyond these specific changes, I know that many of you are concerned about the future of your medical coverage. Change is unsettling, and it raises questions across a broad front. Later, I'm going to address some of the important concerns you may have. Now, let's examine the changes for 1994 more closely. When we looked at the HMO, what we determined was that we would have it monthly budgeted and that the incremental cost would be small for doctor's visits, medication, those kinds of things. Well, my grandchild is covered uh, under my plan. It's important for me and my family to choose who we want to go to instead of somebody choosing for me. I, next year, say, if I'm still single, am I going to have to, you know, get a considerable amount of money less back? Last year, I selected option B for myself and one dependent. As soon as they offered an HMO, I jumped on it because it was convenient. Different people? Different situations, different needs. The changes in your medical options are designed to address these differences in a new way. Hello, I'm Kathy Corkill. Today we'll visit a wide-ranging group of 9X employees to see how the changes for 1994 will affect them and might affect you. Again, the equal company contribution is being divided into three tiers based on your dependent category. When you look at your personal fact sheet, you'll see that the 9x contribution figure is generally higher than last year, whichever tier you're in. But you'll also note that your medical option costs are higher to reflect the actual cost of your coverage. So how will these changes affect someone in your situation? Let's take a look at some actual 9x employees. Like most individuals, I count on a certain amount of money in my check every week. And to think that that money is going to be lessened uh, it certainly is a concern to me. Virginia Black is a manager at New England Telephone in Manchester, New Hampshire. Although she is married, she covers only herself in the 9X plan. She chose option B last year with an individual deductible of $350. Last year, she received $1,146 cash back. If she chooses option B for 1994, she'll get $811 cash back. So for Virginia Black, the changes mean a difference of $335 less cash back. I have two children. I'm a single parent. So I'm carrying the whole load on my shoulder. If they're going to raise the, the course, I'm going to have to pay out more. Then we'll have to stretch all the budget, and it's going to be tough. Meet Dorothy Wu, a manager at New York Telephone in Manhattan. Dorothy also chose option B, with a family deductible of $700. In 1993, she had to pay about $990 beyond the company contribution. If she stays with option B in 1994, she'll have to pay $1,108. That's $118 more than last year. While Dorothy Wu and Virginia Black chose the most expensive option, meet someone who went in a different direction. And I opted last year to take the catastrophic plan where I receive money back, but you gamble, nothing happens, and it happened last year. My son broke his arm, it cost over $1,000 to get it fixed. Tom Dubanowicz is an engineer for New York Telephone in Menans, New York. By choosing catastrophic coverage for himself and his two children, he received $1,295 cash back in 1993. But because catastrophic coverage has a family deductible of $8,000, Tom had to use most of his cash back to cover expenses for his son's injury. Luckily, the cost didn't rise substantially beyond Tom's cash back, so his strategy worked. If Tom were to stick with option N in 1994, he would still get $1,146 cash back, a difference of just $149. Now meet a 9X employee who found option A to be his best choice. Under plan A, it it has a minimal monthly cost to me, um, which 
enables me to put money aside, uh, there is a maximum out-of-pocket expense, which I don't have the figures in front of me, but it's quite high. So I'll, that's where that risk factor comes in. I'm taking a risk. If uh, I'm healthy and my family's healthy, then I don't pay a lot for medical coverage. Art Voch is also an engineer for New York Telephone in Menans, New York. Last year, he chose option A with a family deductible of $1,200. His choice cost just $45 a year beyond the company contribution. If Art sticks with option A, he will pay $289 next year, or $244 more. Now let's look at someone who chose an HMO. The changes for 1994 will have a surprising effect on him. I chose an HMO because I was dissatisfied with Blue Cross and Blue Shield in the perspective of having to process paperwork, having to keep track of what's being paid, what isn't. And when we looked at the HMO, what we determined was that we would have it monthly budgeted and that the incremental cost would be small for doctor's visits, medication, those kinds of things. Mike Stubbs is an associate director for TRG in Boston. He and his wife found that a local HMO was the right choice for them, although it cost $4,120 a year beyond the company contribution. If Mike chooses the same HMO this year, he'll see a big difference. He'll now pay just $892 beyond the company contribution, a difference of $3,228 from what he paid last year. Why this large net gain for Mike? In the past, HMO option costs more closely reflected the actual cost of coverage, unlike options A, B, and N costs, which were lower than the actual costs. But the equal company contribution didn't address the differences in your dependent category. So if you were in an HMO and covering several dependents, like Mike Stubbs, there was a sizable gap between the HMO option cost and the company contribution. This year's changes bring that gap much closer together, so you will pay much less. Here's a small tip. If you were in an HMO in the past, but chose a different option because of rising costs, you should take another look at it this year. There's another important change that will affect people with class two dependents. These dependents will no longer be automatically re-enrolled in the plan. You must take the time to enroll them. 9X will also be contacting you soon to verify that your class two dependents meet the eligibility requirements outlined in your enrollment kit. In all of these examples, you saw a range of employees who analyzed their options and made the choice they felt was best for them. Keep in mind that options A, B, and N all cover the same services. The difference between them is in their deductibles, co-payments, annual out-of-pocket maximums, and the relationship of the option cost to the company contribution. Use the worksheets in the back of your open enrollment publication to play out some scenarios. That's the best way to see how different choices might affect you. Everyone needs affordable health care coverage for ourselves, for our families, and for the peace of mind that care will be there when we need it. To ensure we get it, companies must find workable approaches to manage the burden of rising costs. It's never been easy, and it's not getting easier. But 9X is committed to working with you and to keeping you fully informed about what it's doing and why. Now to our final segment. During the production of this program, many of the people we visited had important questions about the 9X management health plans. After viewing the employee interviews, Don Sacco felt it was important that he directly address your questions and concerns on the most frequently cited subjects. Here's what was on the minds of the people we spoke with, questions you might have as well. Why does management have to pay? and non-management doesn't have to pay. When the equality between non-management and management is going to come into play, um, am I in fact, are my benefits or my payments going to go up so that we can continue to carry the non-management force who are having all of their uh, medical benefits paid for? Clearly, many of you are troubled by the fact that 9X pays all costs for the non-management medical plan. I can appreciate your concern, but I don't think it's reasonable to break out one piece of your compensation and do a plan-to-plan -plan comparison. I urge you to look at your total compensation package as a 9X manager. It's an extremely competitive package, and we continually evaluate it to ensure that it remains competitive with what you'll find in the marketplace. Some of you have also wondered if costs in the 9X management medical plan 
are rising to make up for the cost of nine management plans. Absolutely not. Costs are going up in your plan because actual costs are going up beyond the 8% increase we reasonably allowed for. It's that simple. We all hired on at this company with benefits, whether we had a family or not. I don't feel that a smaller family or a single should have to suffer for an extended family or a larger family. And it doesn't make sense that individuals would be raking home all this extra money and because I have a daughter, I'm paying money out. As a person who has a small family or as another person who, who could be single, uh, I don't feel as though I should be penalized. We're all working for the same company. Why should they get back money because they don't have any children? Why should I have to pay more? Earlier in this program, I explained that 9X's overriding goal was to ensure that medical coverage remained affordable for all employees. Since the actual cost of providing coverage depends on the number of dependents covered, the logical result is that families have the highest cost to cover and therefore have the greatest need for help. So that's who we provided additional help to in previous years through the subsidy and who we continue to assist with the three-tiered contribution system. But I don't believe we've helped families at the expense of individuals. The 9X contribution to medical coverage is a benefit, not salary, and I urge you to view it that way. Individuals, for the most part, continue to get substantial sums of cash back, even if it's somewhat less than last year. So I believe the system works for them, too. I know it seems difficult to distinguish salary from a benefit if it ends up in your paycheck, but I urge you to understand the difference. By helping everyone afford coverage, we're mirroring a key objective of health care reform. I'm not completely satisfied with the dental coverage that we have presently. It seems as though many things that are customarily charged to individuals are not covered by our policy. Perhaps we didn't do an adequate job in the past of presenting the scope of your dental options. Your dental coverage was always intended to assist you in covering dental expenses. Assist is the key word. It does not offer the same comprehensive coverage you get in the medical plan. There were a couple of other misperceptions about your medical plan that I'd like to address. For example, many of you are under the impression that Empire Blue Cross provides your medical coverage. That's not the case. 9X self-insures and therefore pays all the costs. We create the plan and make all the critical decisions using the most comprehensive resources and best professionals in the industry. Empire Blue Cross has been retained simply to assist in plan administration. Many of you also were concerned that the changes to your plan involved a lessening of your coverage. The only change of any consequence is that the out-of-pocket maximum under option A has risen to $3,600 per family from $3,000. Beyond that, your coverage has not changed one iota from last year. By any measure, your plan offers you excellent coverage options. I mean, whether you're with this company or any company, I think that uh, the fear is, uh, is there going to be affordable health coverage provided by the company that you work for? So three years from now, when it gets worse, I think we're going to see another change probably where we're paying. What are they doing? How much is this going to affect me? You know, how much this year it's going to change? What's going to happen next year, five years from now? You know, it's just going to be an ongoing process of change, change, change. The biggest fear on my mind is not being able to provide for my family or losing my savings. But it's a a news bullet to anybody, but I'd like to see some stabilization. Every year it's changing. Looking at and trying to get the best coverage for myself and my family, how much money is it going to cost me? Why should I keep paying higher and higher payments? And, you know, where is it going to end? Where is it all leading? This concern is universal, and I must tell you, I share it. I wish I could tell you with certainty what the plan cost will look like for 1995 and how it will affect you. Unfortunately, I can't. But I can tell you this, nothing about your plan is done without extraordinary analysis. We know how sensitive this subject is to you and to all of us. That makes these decisions extremely difficult. We must compete effectively, and that requires controlling costs. And we're not unique. We face the same challenges as our competitors and companies in every industry. But you shouldn't be without hope that things could be changing for the better. If healthcare reform takes hold, we can only be better for it. While I can't predict the future, I can make one commitment to you on behalf of 9X. 
We will make every effort to continue to provide you with quality health care coverage and value at an affordable price. We've had tough challenges in the past and we'll have more ahead, but we will do our best to work with you to provide quality health care for you and your families. I hope this program has given you a better understanding of the thinking behind our efforts to provide you with a quality plan. Now it's your turn to analyze the information in your enrollment kit and make the best choice for you. I think you'll find this year's enrollment package very user-friendly. Spend some time with it. And if it doesn't answer all your questions, ask your in-touch representative. Thank you for listening. In the production of this program, 9X people throughout the region express their thoughts candidly and thoughtfully. We thank you. While not everyone welcomed the changes, most understand the situation we all face and the solution for 94. We'd like to close the program with some of their parting thoughts. I think you have to step back and take a look at the plan and see what there are in the offerings for you. There may be some negatives, but there's usually some positives, and if you look for them, you'll find them, and they usually work out for the better. I'm not dissatisfied that I'm getting money back, but I can't sit next to someone and know that they're paying $50 a week, $150 a week to ensure their family. Again, I think it's the, the signs of the times, and um, I think that's the way that it's going. I accept it. I don't embrace it. I don't love it, but I'm not going to kick and scream about it, so long as it's fair and equitable. It seems to me that it's the right direction to go. I think it's uh, helpful uh, to the families. This change sounds like a reasonably painless one that could help the company get its health care costs in line. I think when they first hear that there's a change, there will be a concern, but I think that once the change is explained, people will realize that it's, it's for the overall good of the company and the people that work for the company, and it's only fair. And I believe the company does want to do right by the employees, and, and they want to do it equitably. It depends on the attitudes of the people. I mean, everybody has to work together for anything to work, and you're always going to have a, a group of people saying, no, well, I want mine. And it's not about always having yours, it's about helping everyone else so everybody can benefit. And when we get into that mind sink, then maybe we'll be perfect. <laughs>